My name is Anders Jensen, and let's see how we can create a Lorentz curve and find a Gini coefficient. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Excel and automation. So first, we have our data here. We got some regions A, B, C, D, E, and we can see what uh, percent of the population that lives in each area. So region A holds 15% of the population, region B 35%, and so on. If you got your population in raw numbers, that's absolute numbers, you need to um, do it in percent and have it like this. Also for the income, we can see that region A holds 25% of the income and region B 35% and so on. So first we will calculate the income over population. So this one will just be uh, income divided by population. That is to find the order in where we want to sort the data because we want to find the poorest uh, region and the richest region and everything in between and sort them like that. So this one is just income, as it says, income over population. So a higher number means a richer region. We can drag this guy down here. We can see that region E is the richest one and region D is the poorest one. Now we have still marked it. We right click and then we click sort smallest to largest. Expand the selection, that's fine. That will sort all other columns. And now we can see that we sorted it. So region D is indeed the poorest and region E is the richest. Then we will have the cumulative percent of these uh, population and income. So here we can say C and then population. And what this is, is we just uh, add up. So this one, the first one, that's what's ever in the, this guy here. And the second one, that's uh, the second one plus the first one, and so on. So it will all add up to 100 here, and we'll do the same for the income. Like this, and this one equals to this guy here. Then we'll have this plus this, and we'll end up with 100. Then we'll add some zeros up here, here, and here. And now we're ready to draw the orange curve. So we'll mark it, then we'll click insert, go over here, click that, take the scatter plot with smooth lines and markers, and boom, we created the orange. We can, of course, fine tune it, so why not do that? First, we'll go to the axis, right click, format axis, and we'll just choose uh, the maximum to be 100 since we have 100 is our maximum. We'll do the same for here. So mark the x-axis and take 100 and boom. We'll also have the units in 10% like up here. So we can do like this. Then we can add a chart title. We can have the Lawrence curve like this. Then what we'll do is that we will mark the graph, right click, select data, click the series one, and then click edit. We'll choose a name for it, and we'll say Lawrence. And then we'll click OK. Then we'll click OK again, because now we will go up here to this plus sign, and we will have the legend on. And we can see that we got our Lawrence here. Then we could add in our access title here. And this one will just be like, uh, cumulative diff percent of the population down here. And this one up here will be the income. Cumulative percent of income, like this. And this one just shows us what, uh, what's up here. So uh, and what we'll do now is that we'll make a quality line that goes uh, from uh, this guy 0 0.0 to 10.10, 20.20, that 20, is if the society was totally equal. And that's quite easy to make, so we'll say x and y here, and we'll have a 0 and a 0 here, and then 100. Then we will um, just go over here, mark the graph here, right click, select data, and then we'll add. The series name, we could say equality, equality, like this. Uh, the x values, that will be these two guys, and then the y values, that will be 
these two guys. Boom, we created a um, equality curve. Now we created a Lorentz curve. It's looking fine and nice. You can tune it uh, like you want. We will now calculate the Gini. The Gini coefficient, that's how big this area between uh, the orange line and the blue line is compared to everything under the orange line. So we will calculate that now. First we will calculate what's ever under the blue line here, the Lorentz curve, because that's easy to calculate, and then we can easily calculate this area. So we will make another column over here, saying area under Lorentz, like this, and now we can calculate this. So the area under the first one here, that is um, whatever the income is, that's um, 0 0.5 to 5. You can see that here. So uh, that will be uh, 0 plus 5. That will be, uh, let me have parentheses around it, like this. And then, so this, that's uh, the height of here. And we will uh, take the average, so because there's one point here and one point here, we want to find the middle, so that's the average. And then we want to um, um, add how big this portion is. And this portion is, like we can see it here, it's 15 uh, divided by 100. So what we'll do here is that we'll say times, and then we'll say uh, this guy here, minus this guy here, parentheses, then divided by 100. So now we got our first number. We can just drag this guy down here. And then we'll make a total. So equals sum and then just all these guys here. So this one will be our area under the blue line here. And then we can um, we can calculate the area under uh, in here. So we can call this, usually we call it area A. And this is just like 50 because the area here is 100, so we will say 50. And um, what we'll do is that we will um, say um, 50 minus 31, like this. So the area in here, that's 18.125. And what we'll do, remember, it's uh, 10 times 10 here because it's percent. And that's why this half of it is 50. And then we can easily calculate the genie because the genie is just just uh, this area divided by uh, the area under the orange one, and we just established that that's 50. So the genie coefficient is 0 0.3625. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a good day. Bye bye.